Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 31st day of August 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Atmex so we can check out those live spot prices. However, before that, I'd like to welcome you over to a good morning to you with tiny numismatics. That's going to be number 220 and that's going to be starting today at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 6.30 a.m. Pacific. And get this, tiny will be, well, he'll be broadcasting from an undisclosed location that neither... I nor you, well, we don't even know about it, but maybe we can, maybe he'll let us know. Now over here to Atmex, looks like gold, well, let me go ahead and reload here. Got to make sure we get the latest, greatest price. Okay, looks like gold is down $4. I don't think I need that exclusive offer, thank you. Now it looks like gold is down $4.20, it's 17 30 Silver down a nickel to eighteen sixty one. Um, will we close in to 17 here by mid-September? I do believe so. Platinum up $0.70 cents to eight sixty one eighty. Platinum up 22.20 to 21.53, even Stephen. Now let's head over here to the United States Mint, and would you look at that? American Women Quarters explore the 2023 quarter designs. Learn more. Yeah, let's go ahead and learn more. It says here, this is from August 29, 2022. United States Mint announces designs for the 2023 American Women Quarter program coins. Okay, so um, and this just dropped, and these are the designs that they will be featuring, and I will. Um, it's just so, so beautiful, I, but there's one, just one that I want to focus on, and I believe it is going to be the coin of the year, and for a circulating coin, I think we are in a really, really amazing place, a rare spot, if you will, and the great American coin renaissance continues. Thank you very much, United States Mint. This is out of Washington, D.C. The United States Mint is pleased to announce the designs for the second year of the American Women Quarters program, authorized by Public Law 116330. This four year program features coins with reverse, that's the tail designs that's there, designs emblematic of the accomplishments and contributions of trailblazing American women. There they are, five for 2023. That's half the set already. And uh, 2024 and 2025 will be the end of it. Now it says here, beginning in 2022 and continuing through 2025, the Mint is issuing five quarters in each of these years. The ethnically, racially, and geographically diverse group of individuals honored through this program reflects a wide range of accomplishments and field, including suffrage, civil rights, abolition, government, humanity, science, space, and the arts. The 2023 coins recognize the achievements of Bessie Coleman, Jovita Idar, Edith Kanaka Ole, Eleanor Roosevelt and Maria Tallchief, and that's Maria Tallchief, Edith Kaneka Ole, Bessie Coleman, that'll be the first one probably in fe January or February, Eleanor Roosevelt and Jovita Idar. Now that's the one I'm going to be focusing on today. Now it says here, I'm pleased to announce the designs for the, of the 2023 American Women Quarters, said U.S. Mint Director Venture C. Gibson. These beautiful designs honor the achievements of these amazing women and add to the Mint's rich history of rendering the history of our nation and enduring examples of numismatic art there you go numismatic art and i think that's one thing that a lot of us coin collectors uh and 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 people just who love coins it's it's about the art it's about the history it's about the story um and so here we go now and it's about education it's about learning hey what is that what is that all about what am i looking at now the 2023 reverse designs the secretary of the treasury selected the final designs in accordance with the design selection process which is available here now the first one i said is going to be bessie coleman designed and sculpted okay here we go these are this is what's really important now designed by chris costello part of the artistic infusion program and these are contracted folks okay uh, and sculpted by eric david custer united states mint medallic artist and i believe these folks are on the payroll all right now look at this yovita idar designed and sculpted by john p mcgraw and i believe this is the only one of the american women quarters to be designed and sculpted by the very same artist yeah that's huge i believe this is huge and it almost gives me goosebumps because when i um Listen, when we listen to the CCAC meeting about getting this Yovita Idar quarter authorized, um, the chief engraver at the Mint, Joseph Mena, when he said that he could, ha he knew that the United States Mint had the best employees and the best designers and engravers to pull this off, I think he was thinking about John P. McGraw. I think he had it in mind that we have the people to do this. And what's interesting, like I said, two People usually take care of these designs and these sculptures, but one is going to be here. Now, Edith Kaneka Ole, sculpted by Emily Domstra, sculpted by Renata Gordon, um, okay, Eleanor Roosevelt, designed by Don Everhart, sculpted by Craig A. Campbell, Maria Tallchief, 
Ben Sowards and sculpted by Joseph Mena. We talked about that. U.S. Mint Chief Engraver. Now let's go here to the 2022 quarters, and I'll show you the consistency of having a designer and sculptor. Okay, Maya Angelou, designer Emily Domstra, AIP designer. Um, Craig A. Uh, Campbell, sculptor for the Maya Angelou. Dr. Sally Ride, uh, Elena Hagler, AIP designer. Phoebe Hemphill, medallic artist and sculptor. Same thing, Will Mankiller, designer, sculptor. Phoebe Hemphill, Ben Sowards, Nina Otero Warren, Chris Costello, Craig A. Campbell, Campbell, sorry. Uh, designer, Emily Domstra for the Anime Wong and the John P. McGraw uh, um, is the sculptor for the Anime Wong. And we know John P. McGraw is going to be the one doing Yobi Day Dar. Oh boy, if you're not as psyched as I am, you might want to check your pulse. This is huge. This is so big. Now, let's keep on going on because I've got some more to talk about. Now, these are the artists, and you can reach this link, US Mint Learn and Artists. says the designs on our coins and medals are more than drawings. They ex express the values, aspirations, and shared heritage of our nation. That's right. It, it, it's like the American quilt. Each one of them, right, is, 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 is its own story. Um, it says here, artists are an essential part of the United States Mint Coin Production Team. They help ensure our country's coins and medals illustrate the essence and story of the United States of America. Now, here we go. These, um, what, four, five, six people here are the medallic artists. Whoops. Didn't mean to change them to blue. We got Joseph Mena, Craig Campbell, Eric David Custer, Renata Gordon, Phoebe Hemphill, and John McGraw. And that's the gentleman will, that will be doing the Yovita Idar, sculpting and designing. And that's Joseph Mena, the chief engraver. And I think he is the one that really was able to make a big push for this particular quarter design. Now, um, these are the, the people on salary, I would imagine. And down here, we have the AIP, the artist in fusion program AIP designers and here you have them here and they all are in the black and white photos but if you hover over them you are able to click them and get a link in another tab so that's really cool you'll find out about their um accomplishments and speaking of accomplishments this one's John McGraw the medallic artist okay um, he became a medallic artist in March 2020. He joined the U.S. Mint in January 2014 as a product design specialist. He's received a Bachelor of Arts in Sculpture and Graphic Design from Rutgers University in Camden. Prior to joining the Mint, his first job was as a sculptor for the Car uh, Carofly. Oh my gosh, I probably ruined that one. Studios, just three blocks uh, from the Philadelphia Mint at Car I Carol Carolfy. Carol Fee? I gosh. Studios, he worked on architectural restorations and installations for multiple clients around the world. In 1998, John started as a sculptor for Lennox China, America's foremost dinnerware and collectible collectibles company. He mastered traditional pottery skills and low relief sculpting techniques in clay and plaster. Um, yeah, genius at sculpting, right? John's continued thirst for knowledge and creativity led him to pursue 3D digital artistry. What? He soon became an instrumental figure in 3D digital design culture at Lennox, China. Yeah, big wig right there. Leveraging his traditional sculpting skills with his 3D digital artistry, John created design concepts, dinnerware services, and figurative sculptures for many renowned designers, brands, and companies, including Kate Spade, Donna Karen, uh, Marchesa, Dansk, Walt Disney, and Warner Brothers. Now, there you go. See, um, I guess... One of the things that puts him at a bit of an advantage over maybe some of his uh, younger um, peers is that he had all this sculpting experience and then he merged it with 3D digital sculpting. I think that's just incredible. And there are some sculpting credits, okay. Um, he's got the 2022 U.S. Armed Forces Silver Medals Program. He did the Navy Reverse there. Uh, 2022 Negro Leagues uh, Baseball Commemorative Coin Program, the Clad Obverse, Purple Heart uh, for 2022 Commemorative Coin Program, the Gold Reverse. And you can see, I mean, definitely some big time, big time um, coins and medals there. Kind of amazing. Now, let's go over the design really quickly here. Now, uh, this is the Yovita Idar Quarter, and it will be designed and sculpted by Mr. McGraw. And I got to show you this particular design. Now, here it is. Yeah, that is just amazing. Look at all that just empty space right there. That's incredible. And I would imagine to find one of these at a super high grade would be super amazing. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why is this uh, lettering black while the other lettering is white? Well, guess what? These, uh, her name, Yovita Idar, I think is going to be raised. And this, the other letters, like you can see here, Mexican American rights is going to be incused. So it's going to be, um, wow, it's going to be amazing, folks. Could you imagine a coin like this? This circulating coin, I do believe, will be America's first coin of the year 
for a circulating coin. That is just incredible. I'm super geeked up and I can't wait for next year. Um, and I'm not sure which release this is going to be. I, I think it's going to be the third or fourth release next year. So that probably puts us around summer or fall of 2023. Now on to the jokes. What did the what, what did one ocean say to the other? Nothing. It just waved. Yep. Or what did the ocean say to the sand? Nothing. It just waved. That's kind of funny. Now, this is mistakes about mistakes corrected, right? Now, um, some people say, well, you know, every mistake you make is progress. No, 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 no. Au contraire, mon frere. Every mistake you correct, that's progress. Yeah. Now, mistakes teach you important lessons. Yeah. Mistakes you respond to effectively teach you important lessons. Yeah, because you could learn the wrong lesson. Whoops. Yeah, who knew? Now, failing is just another word for growing. Mm, yeah, well, maybe not. Failing is a way to recognize where we need to grow if we're able to recognize it. Yeah. Now, every time you make a mistake, you're one step closer to your goal. No, you're not. No. Every time you learn from a mistake, that's when you're one step closer to your goal. Isn't that amazing? Now, here we are at 95.9 KOIN Coin News Radio. This is Journey Highway Run into the Midnight Sun. Beautiful song. And there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're going to see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker. Hope to see you at a good morning to you with tiny numismatics from an unknown location. Son of a Silver Stacker. Out.